Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I would like to show you how to clone a computer for any Honda or Acura vehicle. You could do it with uh, other vehicles, but I mostly specialize with Honda and Acura, so I'll show you exactly how it's done. Um, this vehicle, this computer came out of a 2014 Honda Odyssey, which was uh, in an accident and obviously it wrecked the computer and uh, the car won't start. So I went ahead on carpart.com, purchased another used computer uh, with identical matching part number. That's very important when you buy another used computer. You want to make sure the part number matches up exactly to your original computer. Because if you buy a different part number, it might work just to start the car, but it's not going to shift right, it's not going to drive right, and your mission's not going to work right, you name it, it just the, the engine's not going to right, you know, run right at all. So what I did first, I went ahead and uh, disassembled my computer. I used the heat gun and I heated it along the edges so silicone came loose. And uh, I pulled the circuit board out. This is the front of the circuit board. And this is the back with all the ICs on it. You can see there's, there's hundreds of them on there. Anyway... Um, back to the front of the circuit board, there's two chips that remember the immobilizer code on your vehicle and it's a VIN specific so you can't take another key and try to start the car, it's not going to work. Um, there's two chips, one on the front bottom right corner and it's uh, located, I'm going to zoom right on it and it's uh, right here, there's my pen, um, it's a 93 C66 IC chip EEPROM so you're gonna go ahead and desolder this chip, chip and you could do it two different ways if you have a hot soldering iron you just uh, heat it up and pull it up with the tweezers if you don't have a hot soldering iron you can take a piece of foil make a little hole in it lay it over the chip and heat it up with the heat gun and pull it with the tweezers it'll come right up and then just go ahead and replace it on your new computer which is going to be located right underneath this cover in this corner right there uh, and there's also another chip it's located more towards the uh, bottom left center of the uh, circuit board and it's a 93C86 it's another chip and uh, you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing desolder that and resolder it into your new computer which will be the location will be here underneath the cover and once you got both of those chips in there, you can close your computer back up, we'll go plug it into your car, and uh, it will start right up uh, without any issues. And it will save you at least a couple hundred dollars by not taking it to the dealer and having him reprogram it. Um, because, you know, dealer, I think, is anywhere from like $90 to $120 an hour. And you could kind of do your math. He's going to charge at least for two hours or so, minimum two hours, to go ahead and do that. Um, but you can get it done yourself if you have your old computer obviously if you don't then you're out of luck but uh, thank you for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel I have new videos coming out daily and uh, thank you for watching